Christina. I'm the registrar here at the Rural Life Museum, and today I'm going to be talking about stereographs. These are an early form of 3D viewing, um, and it consists of two main parts, the stereo, stereo opticon, which is the viewer, and then the stereograph card. And the way it works is you would put the card in the little clip at the end of the viewer, look through the viewer, and it gives the illusion of a 3D image. Um, and there's a piece on the back that can slide forward and backwards to help focus the image. Now the cards are really interesting. Uh, they consist of two images side by side that look almost identical, but these are actually slightly offset and the viewer appears to make these look like one 3D image. Um, and a lot of times you'll see this curve to them. Um, this is actually intentional. This helps add to the 3D effect. So these were incredibly popular, um, so popular that they were even uh, discussions of stereograph libraries. And one of the reasons they were so popular is it was difficult for people to travel. It was more expensive, um, more cumbersome. So these allowed people to see um, the world. They allowed people to see um, images that they wouldn't normally be able to view in um, everyday life. So um, some of them were Average images, for example, these are, this is a little girl standing next to a pond. Um, and then this little girl in this bottom image is knitting. And then others were more elaborate. This one is an example of the baldachin in um, St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. So this is one of those images that people wouldn't have really been able to travel to see very easily. Um, and there were many companies that produced these. One of the main companies was Keystone. Um, this is an example of a keystone image. And there were problems with copyrights because these were so popular, but Keystone actually employed their own photographers to gather their own images. And each of the Keystone images has a number on it, um, as well as a little description, a little title on the front. And one of the neat things about theirs is they actually have information on the back as well to give you more details about the, the image. So the stereographs were popular from about 1860 to 1930. The majority of our collection dates to around 1910. Um, if you would like to see more examples, we have more on display in uh, our toy case at the museum. Uh, if you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.